I am Jacques Cartevez, a PhD candidate specializing in power system economics at Core Nucellura. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happens when you turn on the light in a room? Basically, there is an electricity power plant somewhere that will increase its production. At all times, there is a balance between the electricity supplied to the grid by the electricity producer and the one consumed by the consumer. If you turn the light on, a power plant will increase in production. If you turn it off, it will decrease it. In the past, the production side of the market consisted of a lot of big gas or nuclear power plants that adjusted their production to match the uncertain demand. But the energy transition has changed that. The increase in wind and solar renewable electricity has brought a lot of uncertainty that needs to be dealt with. There is a difference between the 10th of August at noon when the wind is blowing and the sun is shining and the 20th of December at 8 p.m. when there is no wind. We need to shift to a system where the demand adapts to the uncertain production. My research focuses on the design of electricity market in this context. To be more specific, I aim to improve the balancing pro process by introducing an electricity price that the breeder represents its true value. I want to link the price of electricity to the risk of scarcity. This is the risk that there isn't enough production to cover the demand and that we need to shed load to balance the system. To get back to our example, on the 10th of August, when there is an abundance of renewable, the system is comfortable. There is no risk of shedding load. The price of electricity in this situation will not be modified. But on the 20th of December, the discussion may be different. Most of the traditional power plants will already be running to compensate for the lack of renewable electricity and they will not be able to increase their production if needs be. The risk of scarcity will be real. For us, the price of electricity on the 20th of December should reflect this risk of scarcity and be higher than on the 10th of August. To be a bit more concrete about what I'm doing at the moment, I am working on how to connect Belgium to the European cross-border balancing platform. This platform will centralize the balancing process on a European level. They present a significant opportunity to reduce the balancing cost, to increase the efficiency of the system, and to reduce the risk of scarcity. Achieving this connection will be an important step for the success of the energy transition. <laughs>